Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Okay, so there is a huge update in the Ariana Grande Dalton Gomez divorce. Uh, if you're aware, this has been the messiest divorce known to man. Ariana is full on dating Ethan Slater. And they were seen at Universal, walking, holding hands. People are calling her out. People are not happy with that relationship. Dalton Gomez today has been spotted with a new girl. Here we see right here, Dalton Gomez, an actress, spotted kissing in the UK. Time and place. Y'all just be kissing in public. Seriously, time and place. Have some class. Whatever happened to class? Um, anyway, so we have an update on the divorce, and it is final. A lot of Ariana Grande fans, because I'm in the fandom, I see on Twitter, um, were speculating whether or not they actually were getting divorced. People thought that it was just lies. And then obviously when they saw Ariana um, at Universal holding Ethan's hand while, you know, his baby, newborn baby is at home, um, people started to believe it. But this article, uh, TMZ broke the news. Now we have the Daily Mail. Let's read it. Ariana Grande finalizes her divorce from Dalton Gomez and will pay him 1.25 million. Oh, 1.25 million as part of their settlement weeks after officially filing for divorce. Thank you so much for reminding me. Please subscribe to my second channel if you want to see the vlogs from moving. They are going to be up very soon. 1.25. Ooh, that's crazy. Ariana Grande and now ex-husband Dalton Gomez have officially finalized their divorce on Friday. Oh my God. Just three weeks after the singer filed on September 18th. Has it only been that fucking long? Only like a month? Jesus. Only been a month since we find out she's dating fucking Spongebob? I want to start rewatching Spongebob. Um, the indie hitmaker, 30, who was recently seen on a Disneyland trip with her new love. Oh, it was Disneyland, not Universal. Excuse me. I thought it was Universal. And her Wicked co-star, Ethan Slater, quickly settled their divorce proceedings as the pair had a prenup in place, reported TMZ. According to the settlement, the real estate agent received a check from the Grammy winner. I love when they describe people by just things they've done. With the payment being worth a total of $1.25 million, and it's also tax-free. $1.25 million and tax-free. Wait, I have a question. Okay, just fucking stupid ass. I have a question. When Ariana Grande pays him $1.25 million, this may be a stupid question. Why is she paying him 1.25 million? Like, why does she have to pay him money? Like, is it classed as like money they made when they were in a relationship? Is it um just for like funsies? Is it like a little gift? Is it like buy yourself something nice? Is it a legal thing? Like, can someone let me know? Why does Ariana Grande have to give him 1.25 million? Like in anything? Is it kind of like Here's 1.25 million, tax-free, don't talk shit about me. Splitting assets, prenup. They were shared. It's a prenup thing. Okay, because it's a prenup thing, what does that mean? It means that you're losing me here. If it's a prenup, please describe it a little bit more. For me, please. It's based on earnings from the two of them. People are saying it. it's like hush money. Because she cheated. If she cheated, she has to pay. They signed to make their income shared and then split it. Or then they split. An agreement prior to marriage. I know what a prenup is, but I'm saying like why it is in the prenup she has to pay so much money. All right. We're going to continue. The former couple will also split the net proceeds when their Los Angeles home sells, and Grande will additionally pay $25,000 of Dalton's attorney's fees. Fuck, she got fucked, right? Despite the pair's divorce being finalized, a source informed the entertainment tabloids that there is no bad blood between Ariana and Gomez. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. They love that one. Who tied the knot in 2021. She looks pretty here. Hate the blonde hair, but she looks pretty there. 
There is still or there is still a strong mutual love and respect between Ariana and Dalton, and they wanted to make sure everything was done right. I'm sure there's a mutual love with other people, right? Happiest marriage of the year. The former Nickelodeon star filed her paperwork uh, last month on September 18th, with Dalton also filing on the same day. In documents previously obtained by TMZ, Ariana's lawyer had cited the reason for their divorce as irreconcilable, irreconcilable, irreconcilable differences. I hate big words. Just wish we could simplify life. With the date of separation listed as February 20th, 2023. So they've been gone for a while. Allegedly. That fits the narrative with her getting with Ethan, I guess. Sources informed the outlet that all was worked out between the former couple before going to the courthouse and added that the actress plans to cut Dalton a check to officially dissolve the marriage. So basically, the money is to kind of shut him up then? Keep him happy? Kind of seems like it. Kind of seems like it. The pair notably filed for divorce months after their listed date of separation, and an insider explained to TMZ that the reasoning was so that they could iron out details and settle. Irreconcible. See, yabble. A shit ton of syllables. Well, why are we using it then? Can we not simplify life, please? Life is so hard enough. Why are we using big words? <laughs> All right. According to the source, Grande and Gomez have no hard feelings and added that they really care and respect each other. The Grammy winner and real estate agent first began dating January 2020, and the pair became engaged in December of the same year. In May 2021, the two said I do during an intimate yet romantic wedding ceremony at her home. However, earlier this year, news of their split shocked the world. All right. There's no cheating. Interesting. No resentment. They're still friends. The marriage just simply didn't work out. These things happen. They do, but we also saw pictures and videos. We also saw pictures and videos. According to page six, Dalton had flown out to London to visit Ariana, who had been filming the live adaptation of Wicked since December 2022 in an attempt to repair the marriage, but it didn't work out. Since their split, the songstress has been romantically linked to actor and her fellow Wicked co-star, Ethan Slater, who also conveniently filed for divorce from his wife in July, leaving her devastated. How convenient. The two had initially tied the knot back in 2018 and were high school sweethearts and in August of 2022 welcomed their first baby son together. While speaking exclusively to DailyMail.com, Lily, Ethan's ex, revealed that she had been looking on the positive side and putting her main focus on her baby boy after reportedly being blindsided by the split. I am focused on rebuilding a life for our son, she explained. This is what I'm trying to do, and this is my only focus. Earlier this month, a separate source informed DailyMail.com that both Ariana and Ethan are now living together as he prepares for a Broadway production of Spamalot. We don't want him in Spamalot. We want him back on SpongeBob SquarePants. The photos are too funny for him not to do it again. A source recently told People that their romance was blown out of proportion in the public eye and stated that the pair didn't actually begin seeing each other until after both parties were separated, comma, respectfully. Late last month, Ariana and Ethan were spotted enjoying a casual date together during a visit to Disneyland amid each other's respective divorces. The Dangerous Woman songstress was seen uh, scrolling or strolling, sorry, next to the Broadway star in photos shared by a gossip page de moi on Instagram. In the snaps, the pair can be seen linking arms while dressing down for their night at the popular amusement park. In a video also attached, Ethan and Ariana were spotted walking very closely to each other following a guide throughout the busy park. Shortly after their outing together, a source or an insider told DailyMail.com that the pair are really happy and good for each other. The same way I read that Dalton and Ariana were really good for each other. In regards to Ariana and Ethan's visit to Disneyland, the source expresses, they went with a group uh, of friends, including Ariana's mom and brother, Frankie Grande, the most annoying person on fucking planet Earth. Holy fuck. They're really happy and really good for each other, and all of her friends love him, the same way they all love Dalton, by the way. While both Grande and Gomez have yet to publicly comment on the divorce, the side to side singer was actively on her Instagram page. Early. I love their, they'll say, like the Dangerous Women singer, the, the side to side, the Nickelodeon star, the Simon Cat star. 
Uh, the beauty, the beauty captioned the photo series by saying some from then, some from now, and then it talks about her newest photos. All right, so basically, Ethan and Ariana are still together. Dalton's now, you know, going on dates publicly with other people. Dalton's wife or Ariana, you know, allegedly was cheating on him. That's all very alleged. At least met the person she was going to allegedly cheat with. On the set of Wicked, this is all alleged. We did not know the timelines were being told it's not true, so I'm going to believe that it's not true. Ethan's wife is saying that she was blindsided. She didn't know any of it was happening while he allegedly cheated with his co-star. Allegedly, none of it is. It's just a mess. Well, she had to pay $1.25 million. Fuck me, right? Anyway, we'll leave it there. But that's an update to the divorce. It is really fucking... That's a lot. It's one of the messiest. Anyway, we'll leave it there.